If you're ready to become an editing aficionado, you've come to the right place. This is CapCut Editing 101. What's up, friend? Welcome to the CapCut YouTube channel. If this is your first CapCut 101 video that you've seen, hello. If you've seen CapCut 101 before, welcome back. I won't lie, I've missed you. Make sure to hit that subscribe button for weekly tutorials and product updates on all things CapCut. This is the second video in our 11 part series called CapCut 101, where we're taking you from the basics to feeling completely confident in your video editing techniques. So if you didn't catch our video about downloading the desktop app and getting started, definitely go check that out. Today I'm gonna show you how to utilize a few video editing staples, templates, shortcuts, adjustments, and presets. So let's go ahead and open up the desktop app and get started. First, let's get into templates. The templates tab is right next to adjustments on that left side menu. Clicking into that tab will open the for you subcategory. At the top, there's a search bar where you can type in exactly what you're looking for. So let's say I wanted to find a template of a really cute cat. I'm just gonna type in cute cat into the search bar and now I have a ton of templates to choose from. There are a ton of other subcategories here on the left that you can choose from depending on the vibe that you're going for. We've got memes, transitions, vlogs, retro edits, Tons of different directions that you can go in here. I also wanna note that you can get even more specific here and narrow down your results to templates that are specifically portrait or landscape, have a certain amount of clips in them, or are a certain length. Once you pick out your template, go ahead and drag it down to your timeline. Tap the replace button and a new page will open where you can input your own clips. You can add your clips to the template by just going to your computer's file viewer and then dragging them in that way, or you can pull from the media section up here. These are clips that I've already imported, but if I wanna add more, I can just press the import button and choose more clips. If I ever wanna remove a clip from the template, I'll click the trash can. The next button to the right will crop my clip, and the following button will allow me to trim my clip. So if I have a longer clip, I can trim it and choose which section I want to appear in the template. And of course, I can undo or redo any actions by clicking these arrows here on the left. You'll also notice that when I click on a clip that's already in the template, this dynamic menu on the right changes and I can adjust the volume of that clip. Once I'm done, I can preview my finished creation in the player here. And when I'm finished, I'll just click the done button and my template will appear in my main timeline. The next thing that I wanna talk about are keyboard shortcuts. These are huge time savers during the editing process and I highly recommend taking advantage of them. On the right side of your screen above that dynamic menu, you'll see a button that says shortcut. This houses any and all CapCut keyboard shortcuts. I wanna go over a few that can be particularly useful during your editing process. You can use Command B to split your clips and Command Shift B to split all. Select mode is A and split mode is B. This will change your mouse to either a normal selection tool or a razor blade. So you can just click on your clips in the timeline and edit them that way. It makes things very, very very quick and easy. You can select clips leftward with the left bracket and rightward with the right bracket. You can also turn your main track magnet on or off with P. Auto snapping turns on and off with four. And linkage turns on and off with the tilde. To zoom in or out, press command plus or command minus. If you ever wanna group clips, press command G. To ungroup, it's command shift G. And of course, normal keyboard shortcuts like command C to copy or command V to paste exist here too. We do have a video that goes over every single keyboard shortcuts, even the ones that are a little bit more specialized. So if you haven't checked out that video yet, definitely go watch it. That'll give you the full lowdown. And if you ever wanna create your own keyboard shortcuts, you can do that here in this shortcut menu. Simply click the shortcut that you wanna change and type in whatever you want it to be. You just have to make sure that the keyboard shortcut you're trying to add doesn't already exist or else you'll get this error message. And if you ever wanna change all the keyboard shortcuts back to the original CapCut ones, press this button that says reset to defaults. Finally, let's get into adjustments. This is how you're gonna color grade your videos. There are a couple of different ways to get into the adjustments menu. The first way is to go on the left side of your screen and you'll see a tab called adjustment. Within this category, there's an option where you can create your own custom adjustment. Let's start out there and then I'll show you the rest. I'm just gonna start by dragging this custom adjustment down to my timeline. You can see here that it sits right on top of my video clips and I can drag the ends to extend it further or bring it in. As a CapCut Pro user, you'll be able to auto adjust. This is basically just CapCut picking what will look best on my footage. The clip in here is a little bit on the darker side, so the auto adjust just upped the exposure a little bit. Made it a little bit brighter and easier to see. You can change the strength of the auto adjustment by moving the strength slider right below. You can also add keyframes to change the strength of the auto adjustment throughout your footage. So if I place a keyframe here with a strength of 30 and then move forward in my footage and change the strength to 100, you'll see that my clip will gradually go from 30 to 100. Whenever you see this little diamond shape, that indicates that this feature can be keyframed. You can keyframe almost any effect or adjustment on the CapCut app. 
Moving right along, if you have any LUTs uploaded to CapCut, you can go ahead and add those here. I'll show you where you can upload those LUTs very, very shortly. If you continue scrolling down, you'll see there are a ton of ways to customize your adjustment if you don't want to do CapCut's auto adjust. You can use the sliders to change your video's temperature, hue, or saturation. There are also sliders for brightness, contrast, highlights, shadows, and illumination. You can even sharpen your video, add particles, which is just a little fuzz. You can fade and you can vignette. Once you create your adjustment here, you can also add it to your brand kit so that you can use it for future videos. Now that we've learned how to auto adjust or create our own custom adjustment, let's go ahead and head back to the adjustment tab on the left side. The next subcategory here is presets. These are adjustments that you've already made and saved to your brand kit. And you can just drag these right on down to your timeline just like we did with the custom adjustment. Below that, you'll see the LUT subcategory. This is where you can upload your LUT. These will have to either be cube files or 3DLs. And there you have it, the ins and outs of templates, shortcuts and color grading on the CapCut desktop app. Are there any particular templates that you've been feeling lately? Drop them down in the comments and let us know what you wanna learn about next. And with that, I'll catch you in the next CapCut 101 tutorial. Bye. The fun doesn't stop here. Hit that subscribe button and join the CapCut crew. Your passport to editing awesomeness awaits.